So this club, the three wood, just might be the bane of your life. But by the end of today's video, this simple little change is gonna transform the way you hit your three wood from the ground. So very often the scoring clubs are spoken about about wedges and putter, but for a lot of golfers, the fairway woods and the three wood particularly is a key club for scoring because if you can't hit the ball a good distance from the ground, it just means it takes you more shots to get to the green. But are you one of those golfers who sets up with the golf ball? As you've been told, ball forward, you're gonna try and sweep it away from the ground and you literally hit it a yard in front of you and you've got the same again. But the good news is, I'm gonna help you understand why that's the case. And you might not hit it quite that badly every time, but topping it, thinning it, maybe even fattening it from time to time, and you're just doing what you've been told. But like I said, by the end of today's video, you're gonna understand exactly what you need to change in order to hit the three wood from the ground consistently solidly and really help take that game to the next level. So the beauty is, didn't hit that one very far, but I've got a lovely little pitch mark there just in front of where the golf ball was. So let's talk about what you've been told probably in the past about how you need to hit this club. So we get told that we need to get the ball forward in our stance, maybe not quite as far forward as you would with driver and then just kind of make your normal swing and try and sweep the ball off the turf. Now that's the key bit there that's the real killer. We don't want you sweeping the ball away and I'm gonna understand, help you understand why that's the case. So anytime the golf ball is on the ground, the club traveling into impact at worst case needs to be moving level with the ground, but ideally needs to be moving down so that we were to collect golf ball and then turf. So it's understanding where the low point of your golf swing is and helping get the golf ball in the right place so that we get that good contact. So the first little test we're gonna do is I'll do it in line with the golf ball, is I want you to make a swing if you're working through this with me and just see whereabouts the club touches the ground. Now, most of you initially will do this and you'll miss the ground. So then there's no feedback as to where that low point was or should be. And the key there is because you're used to hitting the ground probably in the wrong place, your brain's worked out that missing the ground probably gives you the best chance of hitting ball first, but you have to be so precise that even the best one's probably very low on the face. So I need you to have a practice swing and make sure you touch the ground. So what you'll probably do then is this. And when you make your swing, and I definitely made contact first of all with the ground there, the deepest part of the divot's actually just slightly behind the ball and the club would have traveled up. So best case there, I'd have probably thinned that one, which would have been better than that, but not what we're looking for. So you do a couple of swings and what probably a lot of you'll find is once that ball's up opposite that left heel, you'll really find it difficult to be touching the ground ahead of where the golf ball would be. So the little adjustment we're gonna make at address to begin with is we're going to move the ball back more into the middle of the stance. Make that swing and see where you touch the ground. So straight away, even though there wasn't a lot of contact with the ground, I saw ahead of the golf ball. So that was good, but still not really getting deep enough into the ground. And I'm not talking about taking big foot long divots here, but a little bit of interaction with the ground, the low point of your swing, that club moving in a circle around your body, is the deepest part of the divot. So if there is no divot, it's kind of not really gonna be great shots anyway. So we're gonna get the ball more central, gonna feel that you just move your hips slightly towards the target, which will get a little bit more pressure onto that lead foot. And I want you to feel a bit maybe more like you would with a, a more lofted iron, like you're gonna keep the pressure a little bit more towards that left side on the backswing and then shift down and towards the target. And you can see straight away there, a little bit more interaction with the ground and certainly further forward. Now this won't be perfect for everyone initially, but keep watching because I'm gonna help you learn how you adjust to what you need doing this. So those little tweaks we've made, we're gonna go ball central, 
move those hips slightly towards the target and then focus on going down and towards the target at the start of the downswing. And that's absolutely ripped. And if that was me personally there, I might go, job done, I don't need to hit any more. But we can see there a little bit of a divot, definitely after the golf ball, which was great. Now, because three wood doesn't have lots and lots of loft on it. So this one's got 15 degrees. Some might be a little bit less, fractionally more. But when you're de-lofting that club at impact, so I might turn that into around 12. What you've got to remember, 12 degrees of launch angle. If you don't swing very quickly, won't really keep the ball climbing too much. But as long as that strikes good, that's fine. And if that divots ahead, it might just be that three wood's not the club for you. You might need like a 17 degree or an 18 degree fairway wood. Now, let's say, for example, as you work on this, you suddenly notice that, well, I'm actually touching the ground a little bit further ahead than Ali did in the video, and the ball comes out very low. So if your low point was three, four inches ahead of the ball, you could, instead of being bang in the middle, maybe just move very slightly forward. And then again, hips towards the target, stay central on the way back, but that shift down and towards target, and then take the divot. And the first thing I noticed there is I don't take as much turf, which is fine. And the ball certainly comes out a little higher, flies a bit higher and probably goes around the same kind of distance. But the key is as soon as I've got myself at setup and giving myself the best opportunity to actually deliver the club in a fashion that means I can strike the ball correctly. Now, you have to play around a little bit with ball position with this club, because if you are somebody who naturally gets that low point quite a way forward, you can have the ball forward. Most golfers that I see, in particular that I work with face to face, don't do a fantastic job in their downswing of moving down and towards the target which enables them to get that low point forward. So it's something they have to work on, but in the meantime, keep that ball more central. And definitely for me, if I had known as a kid that I wasn't trying to sweep the ball away with three wood, I'd have been a much more consistent golfer. So for me, I'd probably still get the ball a little more central than most golfers get told, but the key is not to want to go that way and get the ball in the air move those hips towards target, really focus on the movement then when the ball's there. And I've not quite got into the ground there. You could see I missed the ground, but that still came out great, went down the fairway, went a good distance. And like I said at the start, the key is being more consistently solid with three wood from the ground. And if you can do what I've spoken about in that video, I promise you that will take these shots to a whole new level of consistency.